Hello, my name is David Wyrick and I have the honor of serving as the Great Trail Council's Vice President of Relationships. Hey, let's talk about something that we often overlook but can make or break scouting units and that's first impressions. We've all heard the saying, there's no second chance at a first impression and that can't be truer. Research shows us that around 90% of people form a lasting opinion based on that very first encounter. In other words, we do judge a book by its cover. And so do the parents and kids who come to check out your unit for the first time. So what impression are you giving? Is it warm and welcoming? Or is it unknowingly putting up barriers? The best way to ensure that first impressions are positive is to make hospitality your unit's top priority. Think of it as your job one. Just like Ford's famous motto on quality, without hospitality, we're sunk. Now, why is hospitality so crucial? Sadly, it's a lost art, something many of us have neglected or even distorted over time. But here's the thing. Hospitality is key to creating good first impressions and building lasting relationships. When we practice genuine hospitality, we create a place where parents and kids feel welcome, trusted, and safe. And isn't that what scouting's all about? A place where everyone is, feels welcome. And remember, scouting invites every youth to a safe, fun place to learn, explore, and grow. So let's break hospitality down with the WIRED approach. W-I-R-E-D. W, welcome visitors. I, invite them to return next week. R, build relationships. E, encourage them to help with something small. D, demonstrate servanthood. Start with W. W, welcome visitors. First things first, make sure your meeting space is easy to find. How often do units meet in hard to locate church basements? Get some signs up. Next, make sure the room is clean and well lit. Nobody wants to hang out in a dingy, yucky space. And most importantly, have someone there to greet everyone with a smile at the door. A friendly face goes a long way. Don't forget to give each visitor a printed brochure with great photos, upcoming events, and leaders' bios, including that they've taken YPT. Skip the QR codes, okay? People are more likely to read something that's physically put in their hands. I invite them to return next week. It's a simple saying. We, we hope you, you and your child had a great time. We'd love to see you again next week. Please come back. That personal invitation can make all the difference on whether they come back or not. R, build relationships. Relationships don't just happen overnight. They start with being known, then being liked, then finally being trusted. Parents want to feel that they can trust the leaders in the unit. But trust is built step by step. Be intentional about first getting to get known, then showing kindness, being liked, and then earning trust. E, encourage. Encourage helping with something small. Involve new parents in small ways. Maybe they could bring some snacks or help set up or, or join in on a hike. Remember, little pixels make big pictures. Those small actions are the building blocks of involvement. And as the saying goes, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. D, demonstrate servanthood. Lead by example. Our habits shape our attitudes, which in turn influence others. Be the kind of leader who walks the talk. When you show servanthood, others will be inspired to follow your lead and get involved. So, by being wired, you're setting the stage for lasting connections with both parents and potential scouts. It doesn't take a lot of time or money, just some effort. And remember, you get out of it what you put into it. So start now and watch your unit grow into a welcoming, thriving, hospitable community.